He's good. What's hey, going down, brother? Yeah. You good? Welcome to Lion Bay Podcast. I'm Floyd Muriel, and she's seven. She's seven. I don't want to say that he's a bitch, because he's not. But when I'm alone, that's what I call him. He's man, my hair is just like fucked up at this moment. This nigga cut his own hair. <laughs> he cut his own hair. I don't know if it's a heavy Show them, show them, show them, show them. It's it looks ugly. It's bad. It's just like fucked up. It's like use a grade twelve scissors. To cut his hair. So this bitch. Fuck you, man. Like no, fuck you. Like uh, I had I had massive headaches. Like I have like um, these like uh, bad headaches that come. So I had to cut off like this. It was generally like this static and you know the CSB thing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So it used to like fucking fuck with my brain. So what did you say again? CSP. CSP. So explain to the people what it is. You can't just let them be hanging there. Well, you seriously don't know what CSP is. Nobody knows. You pass me the lighter. Yeah, but uh, most, I guess most people don't uh, know what uh, CSP, C- not CSP, CSF. It's Bitches, called, uh, bitch. People know about cancer and AIDS. Nobody knows about CS, CSB or CSP or whatever the hell it is. CSF, right? Okay, so, whatever. So, oh, sorry. So, so basically, my bad, my bad, my bad. So basically what it is, is, is like, uh, there's this, um, uh, so your body has this like spinal fluid that runs throughout your body, right? Right. It's like a protective layer. Right. I don't know if I, now I have a leak. Right. Now when you normally have a leak, it's usually through some sort of fucking trauma or something mm-hmm. that causes a leak. But I've had it since I was a kid or something, I got there and I just recently discovered it late twenty nineteen. Mm. And then uh what happens is a leak usually happens in the, at the at your your back of your spine sometime. Right. Right, right. And uh mine, ironically, is right here at the back of my neck. Mm-hmm. And what happens is when, when the when it leaks, uh the protective layer Sinks your you sinks your brain down right. to your skull, which gives you headaches. So like you need to lay back and right. rest for a while, and then uh, so that the protective layer can go over it again. Right. So like there's like no pearls or anything that can happen. It helps right. sometimes just to de-stress a bit, but then at some points it's just like too much, and then you just have to keep it So bro, let me ask you this. Yeah. What kind of pearls do you? Do you take for the shit? Well, I took like a ton of other things, but I'm not gonna prescribe them to take to anyone else. Why? But they pain. Why? Me. Why? Because if you don't have a medical condition, you shouldn't be taking these pills. No pills is designed to be taken. So Are you addicted to them? Well, uh, yeah, it's not addiction. It's it's um how do you say? It's like medication. Right, 100%, 100%. So I need them, but then also need them to get away from other things. Like, my mind constantly thinks all the time. Like, oh, what do you think of fucking aliens? There's no nigga that think about aliens. No, see. Very rarely. Yeah, think about it, right? Like, right. they have these uh, alien men. like the US uh, release footage now that they, military US release footage. That they've caught these uh, Can you say that sources again clearly? Okay, so uh, one of the uh, Navy officers in the U.S. Uh, military base, right. at least uh, footages, well, would the uh, it's unclassified now. Mm. Uh, classified information is you can't get from the government. Now, the unclassified information is they have three fine sources that are flying around all over the ship and all over the place, and they can't determine what the fuck it is. Right. And the Navy officer said that um, most likely uh, it is in, it's from unknown uh, origin. So like, yeah, I just got my last time I found me. But uh, think about it, like, we have billions and billions of fucking galaxies, mm-hmm. billions and billions of planets, mm-hmm. billions and billions of stars. How is it that we can be the only ones living in this universe? It's like taking... You want to get on a touchy subject here? Wait, wait, wait. We think, can do this. Think about it like this. Think about it like We this. can do this. 
if I take a bowl of sand, right, 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 and I plant one tree in the bowl of sand, right, right, I recognize the tree. But that doesn't mean there's some fucking insects or worms in that fucking tray of sand that I can't see microscopically that are there intelligently working its way and finding a way to feed and live. What's your point? My point is we're not alone in the universe. There's like a that. high probability of that. I like that. You know what I mean? There's I like, like a very high probability of mm-hmm. that. And uh, to think that we're fucking alone in the universe is like fucking stupid. But uh, does it does it somehow seem amazing to you? That they like other creatures or other maybe aliens in this world looking at us or watching well, us. Well, or... well, well, think about it like this, right? right. Think about it like this. Mm-hmm. What do we do to animals? Humble things. No, no. Think about it as in if we wanted to, uh, um, we take animals and put them in zoos so that people can go look at them. Right. We run tests on animals. Right. So, what's to say another species more advanced than us? Earth is just a zoo for the us. I like that. Huh? I like that. What do you think about that? No, it's they amazing, just they huh? just once in a while they just say, "Hey, there's something wrong with this guy. Let's just find out his psyche." And we know that there's a lot of problems with you. I don't know about me. What do you mean me? Like, I don't know about me, but I know you. It's a lot of bitch ass problems. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, like think about it like that. Now if we can cultivate an unintelligent or at intelligent levels as, as human beings mm-hmm. into zoos so that we can go see them and monitor them and shit. What's to say that we not animals in uh, in their zoo? We just confine, and then every time we fucking blow up shit and start fighting shit and everything, things go haywire and they gotta interfere. It could be real, but what if it's not? But there's a high. Okay, I'm not saying there's not. I'm not. I'm also not saying there isn't. Right. I'm right. just saying there's a high probability. Right. If you look at us right. as human beings. Right. And you look at animals and what do we do to animals? What's to say from all the reports that we have about aliens and shit, whether they're lying or not, it's most likely if they were aliens, they'd be doing that shit. So let's get on a touchy subject. Okay. Let's get back to the Bible and Jesus. Okay. Right. So Jesus died for our sins. Got crucified. He died for all thousands like me. Like physically and literally. No, 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 no. I believe in that. Right. So what do you... What do you have to say about that? What's your question? Formulate your question. Let me formulate my question. So Jesus is the... Is the... Is the tribunal of God. Yeah. Right. He is the... Okay. You don't have anything against other religions or... Whatever. No, no doubt. Yeah. Hundred percent. So, Jesus. Okay, we believe that Jesus is the creator of the whole universe. Yeah. He creates all all human race, all animals, all. So all alien life or whatever. Yeah. So. Why does he let it happen? Okay. So, why did uh? Lord Almighty, right, creates Jumal. lions. Part of the ecosystem, right? Hundred percent, hundred percent. So part of the ecosystem is aliens. Hundred percent. Aliens doesn't necessarily mean that they some fucking other part of us could just be an organism that just grew to be intelligent. But out of this world. Out of this world, is, 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 you see, you, physically you, and literally. Yeah, but you're looking at one planet. We're looking at billions and billions and billions of planets. Right. That, that. What you say? That's not an ecosystem. 
got a point. Because you've got the rainforest, which but, has a specific set of right. inhabitants. Then you have Africa, which has its own rainforest, which has a specific set of inhabitants. They, they haven't interacted for thousands of years. But, why would... Okay, Jesus came on uh, 2,000 years ago. Why would he give us, like, mixed signals? Like, every three years he would just send, like, an alien just to give us a signal and just who's go to say, away who's to and say, come back. Okay, who's to say that Jesus is telling you to do experiments on animals? No one's telling you he, did, he, to, he told you to do that. It was on your own free will, right? Right. So, it's on their own free will that they do that. But who created them? It could be him. It could be not him. Are you saying, by saying that, they right. have, if they do exist, right. that he is not the creator of everything? He is the creator of everything. So, who's to say he said that the Almighty created these organisms to serve a purpose in the universe, aside from you being, us being human beings on Earth? Could be, could be that they are of the opposite thing. Like what? Like the devil side. Let me just let me just get straight to the point. Okay, okay. Let's think about it, right? right. I'm not denying the fact that, that I can do that. We shouldn't right? be. Right, but it's like down. But the fact of the matter is, demons aren't created. Okay. They, 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 they basically uh, tormented souls. Okay. Mm. Think about that for a second. Because, I mean, the devil can't create anything. Good viewers, are you listening to this shit? Because the devil can't creepy. create anything. He can only manipulate God's creation. You know what I mean? Like that. So, like that. think about it. Like, like, e like, even if you go into a specific building, like, like, let's look at this. If you go into a specific building or, or some sort of... Sorry, guys. Just having... Right. If mind. you go into, a, like, a specific building, there's something there. Like, in a specific building. A specific building talking about a hospital, a mortuary, or just any... Yeah, like, any, 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 any dead... A uh, building where people have died. There's okay. some residual that's left there. Hundred percent. Because there's a spirit that left there. Okay. But if the spirit is unrest, that's where you get ghosts from. Are you scared of ghosts? No, I'm not. You sure? Yeah, I'm not. Cause I am. Are you? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. I kill a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm joking. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. But think about it. Like. Have you ever seen ghosts on beaches? I haven't like experienced it physically, but like literally on like, cause I go a lot on Facebook and YouTube and TikTok or on the internet, and I specifically search for these specific kind of things like ghosts and videos of ghosts and bro, I have seen some. Some like weird shit, bruh. So, but most of them are like CGI made up. It actually makes me think that these things are real. No, they but are. I have a specific point. Yeah. This morning at like, let's say about nine thirty in the morning. Okay. I watched a video of a lady washing dishes. Yeah. And she or her husband or whatever recorded her washing dishes. Yeah. And a few things happened. Like the bottle moved out of the table, the the hand towels moved on its own and stuff just moved out of its place. But I think that it was all made up. Because I think that they made it just up for views. Cause I went on that same guy's page and I saw that same lady doing other videos with him. So I think that they just made it up. Most that's that's the problem with the society today. Right. <clears throat> Most of the things people say and do is mostly about this uh, 
cloud chasing, this fame stuff. Right. Not to say there's anything wrong with that. You can make good living. Just but to I make mean, money. But just to make money. Right, like, 100%. It doesn't mean to say it's necessarily real. I mean, what's real in this real world since the lockdown happened? It opened your eyes, right? 100%. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So, like, 100%. we here now in, like, Pazun Natal, South Africa. We under this lockdown. What, what is this? Level 2 now. Yeah, level 2, bro. And we've been in lockdown since... Uh, March. March of 26th, isn't it? 2020. Don't be a bitch. Yeah, March 26th. Uh, change twenty. Yeah, hundred percent. And um, I mean, it was hectic. Like it, it made you think. Yeah, it's short. You know, what I mean, it made you like uh, think like, okay, well, what's what's more important? At at the at the at most base of our instinct is the survival tactic. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. We wanna. We wanna. We wanna home. We want, uh, obviously we want to eat, right? But we wanna have, in order to eat, we have to make money to eat, right? And if we can't, we're not allowed to do that, then how are we going to get to the point? The most important point is that we do not contract the virus. Yeah, but that's weird because the virus constantly mutates itself. 100%. It's actually hard to think. But the, here's the thing. You have a phobia for the virus. I do. I do. I actually do, guys. So, last week, I actually went out to, to Johannesburg. To put no need to be specific. So, I went to see my my girlfriend. So, I actually took the bus. Because plane tickets were, like, actually way too expensive. And I was so paranoid. It was unbelievable. Like, I was sanitizing my hands throughout the whole trip. It's unbelievable and my mask that I wore was like four times thick so like I didn't take out that thing until I reached my girlfriend's place which was hectic because I ended up with headaches and how long were you on the bus about nine hours eight hours so that's for a uh, year to, to but try no, this bus yeah hundred percent Hundred percent. It was a long as to brew. It was so hectic. But, I didn't have no alcohol. But, but, nothing but, but, would but be. You, have you seen the, the the experience in in when the bus ship? It is. It is. But it is actually not that bad. I I went on a trip once with the bus. Once. Yeah. Once. And it was horrible. What is this? Like the toilets were fucking crap. That's the thing. You mustn't eat a lot or drink a lot. But how can you not eat a lot and drink a lot when you on that bus for like six to nine hours? Well, if that's a hard question to answer, very hard question to answer. But I, I think I ate two slices of uh, I think burger sandwich in the morning and I had a cup of coffee, and Leo dropped me off at. Okay, hope you don't find Leo with Leroy. Leo dropped me off at. At uh, the taxi rank, and then I was there at the bus stop, and I was actually fine until Alison picked me up. Yeah. I hope you don't know what Alison Yeah. Uh, until Alison picked me up, and I was actually fine. But with the bus, they actually give you, they stop at Montrose or. Yeah, no, I know, I know. After doing it, they do, they do stop. And uh, I had 20 minutes to, to, to pee. And eat and jump back on the bus. But then you're putting yourself on a schedule, right? You are, you are, you are, and you are putting yourself at risk. And because you, you yeah. actually take out your mask and you have to sanitize and watch it where people are. But but here's the other thing that what, what, what really gets me is right. I've never heard of a homeless case. 100%, 100%. So my brother, Leroy. Yeah. He joins, I'm sorry about Leroy, you don't know who Leroy is. Leroy joins a lot of these people who are on the, on the streets. He doesn't like literally join them where he's like... He, ju- he just knows them, like the same time. 100%. Yeah. He just like greets them and how you doing, but none of them have the the COVID. And they have poor, poor sanitation, none of them have jobs, they sleep on the side of the streets. So, how does it make sense to you? 
Well, what? Well, see, here's the thing, right? What happens when we get a flu? We get a vaccine, or we get a, like a flu shot. Yeah, but COVID doesn't right. have. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to what I'm trying to say. Like, right. like I'm trying to get a vaccine. Right. right. Now, the more you expose to bacteria, the more your immune system builds itself up and fights the bacteria. Okay. Right. So now, if you in a situation where you constantly in bacteria constantly every day all the day your immune system is so strong even though you're living on the streets your immune system is so strong as opposed to the person that's living in that in, in, in this luxurious apartment or whatever the fuck it is the house whatever and constantly doing everything to keep seeing you're moving all this bacteria away from you and then your body is not has no bacteria to fight off not even the small ones the small bits and then you get to the point where even a small sense of bacteria will affect you and you'd feel the utmost effects of it. But my point is most of them don't even eat right. Most of them are like on heavy drugs. Most of them are like not even having enough sleep. So how are they immune systems stronger than us? Because we are just sitting there. I just yeah. think, like, the more you're exposed to bacteria, the more your body is able to fight it off as an antibody. So, what you're trying to say is that. I'm not saying go out there and just take off your mask and just fucking talk to everyone. I'm not saying that. No, but what you're trying to say is that I should be a homeless target. I'm, I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> like, uh, all I'm saying is that their immune system. Is most likely to be more stronger than ours because they're living on bare things, which means their bodies are able to adapt. Like it doesn't mean to say, because if you put you you put yourself on a good home or with food every day in that situation, you'd fail immediately. Why is that? You probably die in like a week. Got a point there, bro. But someone who's living with it for years and living on the streets for years, able to survive, knows how to survive, knows how to go through these things. And it makes sense to think that if something deadly that will come around, the best people to fight it would be the homeless. You got a point. You got a you got a very strong point. You got a very strong Because they point. don't have access to masks. Well, good mass, uh, good sanitation, and all of that. Medical That's facilities or whatever. Yeah, well, they, well, medical facilities you can't go to, but... Government I mean, facilities, but... But still... Wait, wait, wait. But if a homeless dude would be sick or... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. Or would have to enter, just say, one of the government hospitals, they actually wouldn't treat them right as they would treat us. Yeah. Would they? I don't know. I haven't been in that situation. But but that's a, that's like another topic. They wouldn't cheat. They actually wouldn't cheat somebody who is high on... Or who is homeless and high on whatever drugs. And compared to me and you... But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. What if those drugs are somehow combating this stuff? And then we just don't know. We wouldn't know. We wouldn't know. Because it's illegal. I mean, the guys in the, in the streets, they just do a bunch of illegal drugs. Yeah. True. Like, True. I mean, we wouldn't know. Like, we wouldn't know what they take at all. Would you try it? No, I wouldn't try it. I don't know how my body would, would even handle it. Me too. I actually wouldn't try it. I think my body might fail. So I have, like, seizures, like, every two months or something. I got this. I've actually seen the... The which is why, which is why, which is why I also uh, stop drinking all of these cheap drinks and stuff like that. Like what? Like 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 brandy, for instance. Like the only thing, the only, the only thing I drink is 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 Hennessy now, and I drink it neat because because being rich here. Yeah. I'm not being rich. I'm just saying, mm. if I buy one bottle, right, mm. that could last me for like two to three weeks. Right, cost me a lot, yeah. But it's better than 
having mm-hmm. a bottle every two to three days, which is like a hundred and something rands, or maybe like ten dollars or something in your currency. We're not gonna currency. we're not gonna mention any specific brandy names. Yeah, so. but I'm um, I'm saying, what would you do? Like like when when they when you I'm sure when you get drunk, you like just uh, get drunk and pass the fuck up. Hundred percent. Right. Hundred percent. But you do it once in like a week or once in like three days or once in like two weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you really, really destroy yourself a <laughs> day. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Like like you really destroy yourself that day. Right. Whereas if I have a sip of alcohol just on a daily basis. I specifically specifically talking about Hennessy. Well, in my case, Hennessy. Okay. Right. Okay. I but, like that. But, I like but, that. but think about it. My body is getting adapted to the fact that I'm having this every day. So it doesn't affect me uh, physically as much as it would affect me if I had it once in a week. Okay. It's sustainable. If you had the cheap drinks once every week, would it be the same? No, because then the next day I'd wake up completely out of my mind. Bobby. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, that's a word, like, for what we would say, uh, hangover. Hang- complete disaster hangover. Sure, 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 sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, sure. It doesn't make sense to me, like, mm-hmm. me destroying an entire day and then being fucked up for the whole day and then I can't wake up, can't eat, can't breathe, can't sleep, can't do fuck all, can't walk, can't do shit. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. <laughs> and sitting at the toilet all day just puking all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's better to just have a drink now than and again. It makes it manageable. So, relax yourself. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, uh, what I found is, the cheaper drinks taste bad. They do. They do. They do. Yeah. They do. They do. And with the most expensive drinks, you just have to have a little bit of them. Yeah. True. And, and if you have it for, for, with yourself, for yourself, you most likely would just have a little bit. Whereas when you have buy an entire bottle of a cheap bottle, you'd have maybe a friend or two and you'll finish the entire bottle the same day. Whereas if you have an expensive one, you'd be like, ah, just have like two glasses and then tomorrow I'll save for the rest. Because this shit is expensive. 100%. 100%. Now, isn't that more logical? It is. It is. It is. But what about like the underprivileged people like yeah but here's what I'm saying is like don't overindulge how do you not though when you look when you're like depressed and you and you shit out of your mind you're like hey I just give a damn about life let me just drink until I'm drunk but that's not gonna help your situation yeah, but... Then the next week, you're going to do the same thing. Then the next week, you're going to do the same thing. A lot of people do not think like me and you. Where we're just going to have, okay, just having Hennessy. And we're just going to have a few shots and it's just going to be cool. And then tomorrow, we just have like a few shots. But a lot of other people do this now. Let me just get a bottle of Black Label. But black label is good. I'm not lying. I mean, beer is good for, you, for your liver. It is, but too much of it is Too bad. much of it is. 100%. Anything, too much of it is. That, that's why we come to a case of uh, something called drug abuse. Now, I've explained this before. Like, 100%. You know, you know, like 100%. There's, there's some, why do they teach you in schools about drug abuse and not taking drugs? They say, don't drug abuse. They say specifically do not abuse drugs. Abuse drugs. Yeah. They don't There's a reason for that. Do not take too much of it. Yeah. Yeah. Now even if it's illegal or legal, I'm not saying do illegal drugs. I'm saying that all drugs have their perks and they have their side effects. What about like Okay, me and you we have a we have our uh, we've had our Depression problem and stress problem, anxiety or whatever. Mm. We've taken over the counter sometimes drugs yeah. that that would 
that would help me and you and some that we have taken illegal so to say yeah let's not get locked up for this shit but anyway we have taken that shit we've experimented 100% so what is the difference between a prescription drug and over the counter and illegal drugs it's it's the same thing it's just that it, it's 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 by law made right. illegal like if i had to tell you now aspirin by law is illegal it now becomes an illegal drug 100% so you get locked up 100% like marijuana now is starting to become legal but in a personal way okay specifically like and like, and, and like if you look 10 years back if you yeah, had marijuana would in your pocket you would like uh, like like I I refer to as we like if you had it in your pocket you'd be locked up 100% like lockdown happened so alcohol was legal before the lockdown and when lockdown happened alcohol was illegal you actually exactly. couldn't buy exactly. alcohol so it actually makes you think how amazing this is cuz alcohol was illegal but it was legal before the lockdown and if you come to think about it what's the most uh drug or what's the, what's the substance that kills the most people that you know I actually have to think about this. I would say alcohol. It is, it is, it is, it is. But it's legal. It is legal. Even cigarettes. Even cigarettes. Yeah. You get lung cancer from cigarettes. Yeah. Right. And it was illegal before the lockdown. How many Or times have the, the have any of those illegal drugs, let's say cocaine, heroin, whatever the fuck it is, mm. right, have killed people? It's a minute population that's been killed by it. Mm. rather as exposed to the alcohol usage or this thing but i've never heard the saying of marijuana kills them 100% but marijuana gets me at shop <laughs> i'm sure you but me okay when i started with you i was actually fine i was happy i was making music and whatever i was making songs but at a certain point it got me on a on anxiety level but marijuana never ever kill me Yes. It just it just gave me anxiety and then over. Like oh like, my dad was like 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 this crazy time. I don't know if you want to tell that that story about uh, uh Keelan. Oh, Keelan. Okay. You can tell him this. Yeah. You can tell the story about that. So, uh Keelan we're actually chilling all of us. I wasn't there, right? You wasn't there. You was at you was at work. Yes. I think you was traveling on your way back from work. Okay. So me and Keelan we actually came to your club. a few hours before you could before you come come from work so we bought some hunters i think it's hunters gold and we were having some weed with the uh, feather and uh, the lighty so we were chilling and this guy he had some weed and he had some hunters gold and we were sitting down there but steps do, do you remember with the yeah 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 yeah, yeah. They were, then we were chilling there and he's like bro feel like a bit kind of weird so he actually told me that personally he didn't want to tell for the night because you know what I'm saying he's like a he's, he's like a big guy yeah he, yeah he's, he's a freaking dick he was actually I think that at that time he was 78 kilos worth of muscle muscle yeah, pure muscle so he's like bro I'm like I'm like freaking out so He actually ran upstairs so I followed him into the kitchen right there where the stove was so he said bro I'm going to pass out I'm like what the f- what the f- f yeah. I'm going to pass out bro like three seconds later nigga passed out shit so feather ran in lighty ran in nigga was passed out I felt his heartbeat he had no heartbeat whatsoever shit bro we threw water try to do CPR nigga never wake up I think it was like two or three minutes later he woke up all up on his own bro he just woke up from the dead I was like bro are you fine he, he was like I think he told I think he told Feather throw a bucket of water on him just so that he can feel alive like So Philip went and brought a bucket of water and bro, after he put it on him, he was like, am I alive? I was like, bro, you are alive. 
was amazing, bro. It was amazing. So, hey, it was amazing what it can do to you. Yeah, some people, plan. some people can handle it. Like I can't handle it right now. Marijuana, I can't handle it. Yeah, right now. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I used to be able to handle it a lot, like really a lot. Mm. But now when I have just a little bit, just like drives me crazy. Like mm. the thoughts just flood in my head. What kind of crazy? Well, it's like a. Uh, I don't know, I think a lot. Yeah. And I get paranoid, and then I get like panics, and then oh. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You don't tell me this panics. No, it's, it's, it's not like panics, like anxiety. Like, I just can't handle it. Yeah, you sure. I just can't handle it. But you should be the, like the kingpin of weed. Yeah, but, I don't know. I think once you give it up for a while, and you realize you've grown out of that experimentation phase. Do you think it's like maturity? I think it, I think I think it's maturity, uh, one for one, and I also think I need to get my life together. And then, when I finally had a little bit of it again, I think I think as you use substance, it's just as you say, substance abuse. Yes. The more you abuse yes. it, yes. The more used to it you get, the more you can have. You can have too much of it. It's just like alcohol. Yeah. The more you. Like 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 the old uh, the old people like the uh, old uh, men, they can drink a whole bottle on their own. On their own, mm. we can't. No, we, we don't have that experience. Yeah. It's because they've gone through that process of uh, their body have like adapted adapted to it adapted to it hundred percent hundred percent hundred. So it's just like that with me that, and then when you finally stop and you go through this detox. Asian phase it's just like completely another phase and then your body's free of it now mm. and then when you take a little bit of it then you feel the full hit of it I like that I like that you know yeah. what I mean you feel the full hit of it I mean I'm not saying it doesn't calm me down it doesn't like make me sleep but it gets me crazy thoughts in my head like <laughs> sure. I'm like so like I just stay away from it mm. it's better for me to stay away I I assume it's better for me to stay away from it. Yeah, I do. Myself, myself, myself. Getting back to uh, CSF and uh, whatever the condition that you have, we're not gonna explain specific details. Does it make you scared? No, actually, it's not a terminal disease. Yeah, I it's, it's not even a. It's not a terminal illness. I wouldn't say disease. It's a. It's not a terminal illness. It can't kill you. Does it make you weak? It makes you weak. It right. makes you lose a lot of weight. Because you, you hardly eat most right. of the time. Does it make you stressed? It doesn't make me stressed. Okay. It's like you can live with it. Mm-hmm. But... I guess the more you, you stay up, like the more you, you up upwards... It says that... Because of the position yes, of where the leak yes, is, yes, 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 it needs to. I need to lay back, right. so it pulls up back at hundred percent. So it's not terminal. Like, I get like this. Like after two or three months, I know you've seen me like a couple yes. times. I've come and I'm just like completely out of it for two or three sleeping, days, yes, sleeping yes, two yes. or three days without eating. Yes, yes just yes. out. Yes, completely. Hundred percent. And then I'm back to normal again. Mm. It's just like the body just needs to. But it, it's, it's not frightening, it's just that it's controllable and manageable. How would you compare it to like cancer or AIDS or, well, or diabetes? Well, it's, or not, it's not as severe as that, but I'll tell you what's severe is the headaches. Okay. Headaches are severely it's severe. So severe that mm. you could take as the strongest painkiller mm. that, that a doctor could pres- prescribe to you. And it would do nothing. You just have to wait to, for the filaments to fill up. That's actually cool. Yeah. That's but uh, it, it's not uh, a terminal disease. It can't kill me. You should be glad that you're not a cancer patient or an AIDS patient. Or a you know, I, 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 I once you. told you this uh, one story about how I had asthma at like once. Yes, yeah. yes. And then we cured it. And we cured it. Yeah. I was like, this is really yes. that's that's how I started getting into that day and I started like slowly slowly. This is they told me, you know what, you ain't gonna live till twenty one. And no, I was like I think I was like nine nine or ten at that time. 
So when they nan kya nai no chen and they gave me this like this pumps. Yeah, like this yeah so pumps. Uh, those asthma pumps. Asthma pumps. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And so these asthma pumps now what they do is they like I think they clear up your your lung system. Now it was a clear sign that I had asthma. Hundred percent. Right. And wait, I was like, wait, when you have asthma, like when you get stressed, as you chunk up your chest, then it's not about getting stressed. It's about I don't I don't know how to explain it. Like somebody who has asthma, like we are not doctors, by the way. Yeah, like um, what what should happen is like at just certain peaks at at times, you can't breathe. But wouldn't you be before that stress cause you are thinking about what is going to happen but no it would just happen randomly okay and then you just have to take your pump like so then i i started a, a routine right a pump a day in the morning mm mm-hmm. a uh, midday maybe if i needed it and then one at night so i had a routine maybe then it went into two in the morning one in the during the day and i used to get this just was what good was it I just like go around I think it was from 6 to 8 yes yes 6 to 8 okay like okay. right, uh 6 to 8 grade and uh when I went to 9th grade I think I was like no then I was in 8th grade and I was like fuck this and my last my last bottle my last uh, pump was out I was like fuck it if, if I'm going to not going to make this for you one or really just stop my life this is this is ready to die I was just ready to die to okay. die at that point So I was like fuck it I'm just going to do what the fuck I want to do without the pump without the pump 100% I was just like who cares mm. the doctor says I'm going to die and I'm I'm not going to make it past training one anyway that's 100%. the maximum I'm going to live mm. so I was like fuck it give me the drink so like like and then I saw smoking I was just like kid at that time I was just give me the who gave it to you as a couple of mates okay okay All right and then uh we you know how we made yeah, like short short yeah short and so I smoked for a while a week passed two weeks passed as I smoked cigarettes mm. so I going cigarettes mm. uh marijuana mm. smoke 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 for a while never got the same feeling again serious and it's been what like I was what the uh, 11 11 12 and now i'm 27 i'm going to be 27 26 yeah, 26 oh yeah i'm going to be 26 now yeah, you're going to be 26 so from 11 years old to 26 years old that's about uh uh your it's a long time huh to be a bitch what are the maths that's about 15 years mm-hmm. i haven't experienced that same feeling but people would think could you say you have asthma and and i live past 21 perfect okay people do not have the mindset as you did cuz if if i had asthma and i had to stop the pump i would never ever try cigarettes or or weed cuz it would have killed yes it's like yes i had a fucked up childhood right 100% right 100%. so i was like fuck this I don't care what the fuck happens you don't care whether you die or what I don't care whether I die or whatever the fuck it is right I'm here to live life because I've been given life mm. and I'm going to live it but she was only a kid you I was a kid but teenager. I was so determined like I was like saying to myself like someday you're going to be something 100% someday one day you're going to be something and I had mm. dreams and all these aspirations but I always had this thought in my head you know I'm going to mm. live to past 21 Always had this thought. Always had this thought. You don't tell me this bitch. Yeah, but I always had this thought like I wasn't going to be doing one. But this was in high school, I mean, like we were like yeah, you yeah, know. Sure, 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 sure. So I was like, fuck it. If I'm going to die, I'm not going to pass through one anyway. So I'm never going to go through the same process of having a family, kids uh, or whatever, kids yeah, or whatever the fuck it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Why the fuck not just go the route that I want to fucking do? Yeah, sure. You know what I mean? Mm. And so I I went that route and 
yeah, it just disappeared. I don't know how it disappeared. And then I remember when we went uh, three months later after I started at the living years old. The wee thing. Yeah, I went yeah. back to the doctor and then... Uh, this this is a true story, by the this way. This is a true story. Um, so we went back to the doctor and the doctor says, uh, why do you... Then uh, I think it was my mom at the time. Mm. She says, uh, it needs this pump. Uh, he hasn't been using it for like three months or whatever. And I was like, uh, he was like, okay, let's test you off. And then it says that that's unusual. So first thing was unusual. Serious. Yeah, because you need to use hundred percent because one needs to get an asthma attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asthma attack is like a panic attack. Yeah, hundred percent. Right, because your you can't breathe. Your whole chest goes up. Or everything like like shows swells up. up. Yes, yes, Like yes. your 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 inhale system swells up. Safety, safety. So I uh, went to the doctor, got a scan whatever the fuck it is and uh, it was a private doctor at that time mm. uh, but at that time doctors were cheap yeah they were they were they were quite cheap they at the time cheap. right yeah. and then uh, I was 11 years old and then they said uh, we have no signs that you ever had asthma weren't you amazed I was like what the fuck are you talking about like I came to you you said it's like yeah we can't explain it either I was like, holy shit, this shit works. <laughs> now, I'm not saying people should get into the the, the, the state that I was yes, when I was a kid. Yes. I just so happened to make that decision. Maybe it just so happened to work for me, whatever I took. And whatever drugs I took at that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just yeah. so happened to work for me. Mm. And uh, I don't know. That's why I'm saying like illegal drugs and legal drugs. There are benefits, but then you abuse them too much. Now, you don't know where the illegal drugs can help you. Plus, you don't know how your body can handle it. Yes. Everybody's body is different. 100%. And they react different to receptors in your brain. 100%. So, I was amazed at that thing. I was like, oh, fuck it. So, I'm going to look past me one now. Mm. It's like, okay, cool. Mm. And then... Um, I had not noticed that I had CSP, uh, CSF. Yes. Right. And uh, CSF is a completely different thing. It's nothing to do with the system. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, what happened is when I was in campus and I was going to university, I was uh, basically. Um, yeah. So, I was basically. Uh, Always drunk up. No, no, like, like seriously, I was drunk. It was like a thing. It was, right, I, it was like a thing. I was always drunk up. Like, but I always got my shit done. You know what I mean? I, mm-hmm. I always had this goal, like, hey, you know what? Nothing's gonna happen to me. You know, destiny fine. just failed on me. Like, fate just failed. Like, what the fuck can anything else do? You know what I mean? But you didn't care the. Whether you died or not, or I didn't because I. That's why I'm saying I had a bad childhood. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I needed to get somewhere, but I didn't. I didn't want to think about what was back home for me to get ahead. Mm, mm. So then I had to take the stuff and focus the shit out of it. So I used the stuff to focus the shit out of it. I'm not saying this should. This works for everybody. I'm saying it worked for me because my mindset the time it was, was just so completely determined like it was no matter what you could say to me you could not destroy my mind mm. I remember I do remember right and uh, so I used to smoke uh, a lot during the from, from, from that that high school period and into this thing and I, it was excessive mm. and I realized once I stopped uh, it's been like I think it's just been like three years now since I stopped. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so I stopped that and uh, I've cleaned myself up uh, from that addiction, and that's when I started noticing. Hey, you know what? Because uh, I used to take uh, painkillers, but it wasn't as strong. Right. right I used right. to take like aspirin, Nardo. Oh, okay, cool. Was small because I think the leak was a little bit smaller at that time. Not the hard stuff, like. Not the hard stuff. Then I went to my villain because the headaches. My villain I learned off is when I pulled off my tooth. Mm. 
Mm. And then the doctor said, you need to get my villain, get a script for it. I was like, okay, cool. I went there, got a script for it, took my villain. I was like, hey, this shit feels good. It's a bit like, stronger than yeah, the other one. Yeah, it's a bit strong. Yeah. This shit is strong, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, well, well, sorry, it wasn't my villain. It was my producer. My predogs. That you need to get a script for. My villain can just fine. So I went to my so I went to Aspirin, uh, I went to Panados, uh Painkillers, whatever the fuck it is. Uh My Villain then Whatever. My Bredog. Right? right. And then whatever yeah, else. Whatever. Was, right? <laughs> so I went to the doctor last year. Uh it was twenty nineteen, late twenty nineteen. Well, beginning of twenty nineteen, I started getting these fucking like sickly after every like month or two or a few weeks or two and I should just be like, completely out of it and I couldn't work like, completely out of it and I wondered what the fuck is going on with my brain now because now my body is starting to adjust now with stop the pain now that the marijuana used to used to have on me to calm my fucking mind down 100%. and like take away the pain because that's what it does basically it just removes the pain and just enhances all the other receptors yes, in your body. Yes, 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 yes. So what happened is I stopped that and I started taking these these pills. And then when as I took these pills and when the days I didn't like as I took these pills, it started to stop taking effect. And as it stopped taking effect, that's when it started getting bad. So I went and got a check up. And the doctor went, This is not good, this is not good, this is not good. We need to do this. Set up an appointment went there, uh, clinics are closed, everything, mm. right? I mean, doctor, I mean, the hospital can't, so I get, a, I get a note. Doctor says, I think it might be this, right? CSF. CSF. Right. I think it might be this, but I'm not sure we need to do a CAT scan. I don't know what, what the fuck it's called. I don't know it's called CAT scan or, 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 or some brain scan or something like right. that, right? Because they thought maybe there was something wrong with the back of my left brain. And so what I, what I did was, we went into the scan. Because the hospital you pay like a couple of uh, hundred bucks. And then mm. you get the scan. Mm. I did the scan and then they came back with a leak in the spinal fluid. But they don't give you the results. They send, they give you, they tell you. But then my doctor said, take a copy or take a picture of it. Sure. So that he can diagnose the medication. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So then when I took it back to him and I said, "Okay, this is what it is. I don't know what the fuck this is, right?" Because I thought it was like some fucking spine just fucking yes, broken yes, or yes, some yes. shit sure, sure, like sure. that there, like and then it, some yeah. fluid is blood is fucking yes, pouring yes. out or something. I didn't. I had no idea what the fuck it was. Because you got into a lot of fights when you were young. Yeah, yeah. I I got into a lot of fights. Yes, yes. So I didn't take shit in yes. I was over, overdosed on everything. Right, so um, then I went to the doctor and the doctor said, Oh, I know what this is. Uh, this is why this is. Um, it's not terminal. You can live with it. But there's nothing we can do to treat it. There's no cure. Short. Short. There's no cure. Even with an operation to close up the leak, there's no guarantee that the leak may come back worse. I see, I see, I see. There's no guarantee. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it, the, the operation itself makes it worse. Yes. So it was like, give me a prescription. Tell me, you know what? Take what you can't be taking, just to take away the pain. And rest as much as you can. You your own shit. Yeah, yeah. So like, no, no. Like the shit I'm taking now. Like, uh, like I, I take Does this. It help. It helps a lot. Like, obviously, like I'm a little bit addicted to it because, you know, when when you when you get kind of accustomed to something, you like it. Understood. Just like when you like coke. Yes. I mean, not the cocaine. I mean, when you like Coca Cola. Yes. You get you get accustomed to it. You want it every day. Mm. Once in a while, it's not good enough. So then now, I don't have no sugary drinks. No sugary drinks. Nothing sugar. How does it help you? No chocolates. How no, does it help you? Maybe once in a while, once in two months, chocolates. 
I don't know. I feel like I'm dehydrated when I have these things. It's like sugar just activates like my body from getting dehydrated. Okay. So I I cut off all of those things, and I cut off a lot of things that are unhealthy. Mm. I just stick to water. Like my main beverage every day is about four to five liters of water, which is good. Which is excellent. which is excellent, mm. right? The only downside to it is if you don't have sugar in your body. Sugar, but we can. The only the problem is your body isn't able to process the, the food that's coming into your body as fast as it would. So it takes its time. That's just why I'm the size right now. Yes, yes. I guess then. I guess I'm then. I'm then. But I wasn't always this this then. Yes. Like, like I used to be. Bulky when I used to smoke. Not so bulky, but yes. But you should you you should eat it a lot as well. Compared to, now I eat like once a day. Compared to what you eat now, I eat like once. Because before you should eat like six, seven times a day, mm. which is which is a truth. So, which is another thing that comes to say like, I, that is why I prefer my my to live life. The way I would like to live life, I don't want to live life and say, "Oh, let's just save this little bit and damage myself and compromise, compromise." Hundred percent. Let me spend an extra on alcohol. Spend an extra two plus whatever. And expand it. Hundred percent. But not in overindulgence. Yes, 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 yes. You know what I mean? Yes. yes. Like this bottle has been sitting with me like for a week now. Yes. This bottle has been sitting with me like a week now. I think only when. Uh, Only when I came, that is when it. Yeah, then when it started yeah, going it went down, down. Yeah, yeah. and then um, so basically, yeah. So then basically, that's what I how I feel. Like if you overindulge into something, mm. it's gonna become a thing. Yeah. Now the only thing I overindulge is my painkillers because I need it. I need it for the to sustain it, but I also indulge in it. But so. Like when I'm depressed, mm. do you get depressed often? I get depressed a lot. I get depressed every time. Why? There are some reasons that I can't say. Yeah, right. right, right. But uh, I get depressed a lot for for many years. Mm. Like uh, there's a lot of unresolved issues in my life. What are you doing? Is that only in essay that people do that? No. That they burn the cigarette no, before I, I they like light them. I like them. to burn it because you know <laughs> I, when 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 I burn the cigarette uh, while I'm smoking, it, sometimes the bits fall off. Oh, I see. So yeah, I have this recall of memories, mm. which I don't like to remember. So I like to talk about, and they're not some good memories. Smoking okay. Hennessy cigarettes. Yeah, <laughs> was so bad. That was it. Yeah, some COVID spray. Mm-mm. Mm. I prefer not to use that. I'll tell you something. Why? Most likely because uh, I prefer to wash my hands. If I'm, I'm yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. Hands, I feel like it's not good for your skin. And plus the bacteria that's supposed to be in your hand, even if there's no COVID, it's not, not there. there. Yeah, but I know you have to keep safe and stuff. People are paranoid. I know people are paranoid. Chaos brings more chaos. It does. It does. But fear brings chaos. And let me put it back. What the government tells us, like eighty percent of people, well, are doing well that specific thing. Yeah, but. I mean, if you can do it in another way that. without endangering someone else, mm-hmm. you could do it in another way. You could, but I mean, like eighty percent of the population are listening to the government. That's true. Yeah, nobody wants to put this out in in danger. No, that's do true. Other things, yeah. That's why I'm mostly in. I'm mostly indoors. Yeah, 100%. all the time, which is good. Which is good. It's a good thing. But if you go to like spa or whatever, because we in South Africa, yeah, you always use your mask. You keeping a safe distance. Yeah, you sanitizing or whatever. Yeah, like I bought this fucking mask. I don't know, 
Fuck it. It's is. called a buff. I didn't even know what the fuck a buff was. It's called a buff. Yeah. I didn't know what the fuck a buff, a buff was. It's called a buff. I thought it was just a regular like mask, bulky mask yeah, yeah, type cool. of thing. But then I just bought it and I was like, what the fuck? This thing goes over my neck and shit. Look at this shit. It's cool. It looks like I'm a fucking criminal. It's cool. Look at this. I could rob someone with this shit. Could. Like. Like, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's nice, it's nice. But guys, yeah, let us get out. Slow and real. And T7. Podcast number one. Podcast number one. The Lion Bear Podcast. Subscribe. S- subscribe down here. Hit the like here. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we're good to go. Soon we are. We are musicians, so soon we're gonna... This, uh, oh, stuff I, 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 I just forgot, like, I uh, put up the, the, the song, uh, that song, I edited the song and I put it out. The latest one of you? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Like, uh, mm-hmm. like, like most people don't know you, you're also an artist, boy, yeah. entertainment. But don't worry, they're going to get to know that. They're gonna get to yeah, know in a future podcast, you get to know a lot more about us. Like, to me, it was mostly me talking this time, this guy is just... Fucking just sitting there, like fucking I don't know. Fuck is this problem? <laughs> like, come on. It's like so. My hair is bigger than your camera. Yeah. Anyway, but but your hair looks like a mushroom. <laughs> Covered in the rain, <laughs> like these. Then these, 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 he has this post like. This is why I think like social media just like fucks us over like we're so engaged in like these posts we are we are we are social media has people so buggered it's unbelievable it's unbelievable Unbelievable. especially me especially me (laughs) i know it's hectic people waste a ton of their time on social media even when they are at work it's just like tv it's another form of television it's not even like TV anymore, bro, because when, okay, when I uh, am at work and you say I have like two minutes of free time, I'm just like, I'm on like Facebook, I'm like TikTok, I'm like Instagram, I'm just there. You know me, I'm like WhatsApp chatting with I'm, my I'm mostly, I'm, like, I'm mostly the type, the type of person that puts my phone away and just like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's on that side. If you want to contact me, call me. But you know how people are like different kind of people, different minds. They're like different. Just like, hey, let me just call Facebook. It's so toxic. Call it is, but it is actually so satisfying to some people. You know, it's a dopamine. When you have a reaction, it's this excitement that builds up. But it makes you depressed over time. But people do not understand that. It does make you depressed over yes. time. Yes. And I realized that. Mm. It does make you... I've, I've, I've spoken to you this about this. Yes. Video. So many times. So it makes many you times. so depressed. It that does. It does. It the does. more you look at other people's life and you compare your life to them. That is when you get depressed. You get depressed. You do. You do. You do. Because you see like... Like these famous people like Jason Derulo and uh, Michael Jackson and whoever. Bruno Mars or whatever. And you look at them and you're like, oh, why am I not that famous like these guys? Yeah. Or what am I doing that is so wrong that I cannot be become famous like them? So, it's hectic. It's hectic. Yeah, but, but if you start your day off by saying, I have a schedule today and my schedule doesn't involve uh, a specific set of things. But... Do you think it is about the age group? Because from when you're like 18 to like 26 or my specific age, is it just like... You're my age. Yeah, I know. But does it like affect our specific age group? It, aff- it affects everyone. It does. It affects everyone. Yeah, I think Imagine you looking at a person who's in your age group or someone that's younger than you being more successful than you 
How does it make you feel? Yeah, it makes you feel shit, bro. Yes, exactly. You actually feel jealous. Why are you comparing yourself? Like, why would you compare yourself to someone else when you don't know the circumstances behind this? You haven't, uh, you haven't worked as hard as as that specific person. Plus, you also don't know whether uh, the hardships that they overcame. But you still don't. But you still do not care. You don't care. Yeah, you just. It's just like, why am I not successful as Bruno Mars or Jason Derulo or whatever the hell? Because those guys didn't even study or didn't go to college. They just made music and blow up. Or Daryl Wayne, he didn't go to college. Did yeah. he? No. He just started making music no, from me. No, he, he like actually did. You got, a, you got a degree in psychology. Does he? Yeah. Serious? You, yeah. Yeah, that's... I don't know that. I don't know that. It's a very intelligent joke. So, but but I live by this philosophy. Most of them, though. Yeah, I live Most by this. I, I live by this philosophy. If you believe you're gonna get something, it's just like a religion, right? You believe it. Eventually, in your mind, actions come into place, right? And then, when once action comes into place, you convert them into goals. And once goals come into place. Time frame those goals. Once go, I mean, once you time frame those goals, you visualize how would it be once you accomplish that goal. Was it worth it, or is it gonna be worth it? How hard does it feel to accomplish it? Then you realize you need to set more goals every time you accomplish a goal. Right, and then stay away from negative. Uh, this thing, energy, energy. But it doesn't need to say. Take you. Not uh, maybe maybe stay away from negative energy is not the right word. Maybe do not let negative in- energy influence you because you can't stay away from it. You're gonna have people that tell you you can't do something, so you don't have that negative influence on in you. If your mind is so strong in belief, like if you believe in God in this thing so badly, nothing can destroy your mind from that belief. But if you believe so hard that you're going to be successful, nothing can destroy your mind so hard. That is why the number one philosophy that I have is belief that I will succeed and I will do great things. And the key to doing great things is what do I need to do great things is information. And information is the most powerful thing. I like that. Yeah. And here we go. With the way in T7, we're going to close this podcast. We're going to close this podcast. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe down, like there if you like it. Cheers, guys. See See you next time.